Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today I wanted to uh, take a look at posted code and um, some of the settings that the Bobcat has that will affect the way that your code is posted. So uh, in this example I have this profile here and you can see my X axis and my Y axis. These are positive movements and if you look in the code here you can see your X and Y are positive movements. Now depending on how your machine is set up a positive move or a negative move may uh, result in the appropriate cut. Okay so uh, the where in the software where this is set is if you go under current settings and uh, let's see this is the BC3X mill and we look at machine definition uh, you have your Y value and you have your X value okay so if we look at our Y value you can see there's a negative one and um, so if I change that to a positive one and I do the same for my X value make that a positive one and I choose OK and then I repost my code what you're going to see is the X move is now negative and the Y move is now negative so even though the geometry is in the positive quadrant what that's saying is is the machine needs the machine table needs to move in a negative direction in order to get a positive cut on the part okay now depending on whether it's a moving table or it, it just depends on the machine either a gantry or a table uh, this uh, the head is fixed or uh, the table moves uh, or the uh, head moves and the table is fixed uh, will uh, affect whether you need a positive or a negative move there so it's really easy to adjust it takes just a few seconds uh, if you're getting a uh, positive or negative moves when you expect positives or if your uh, geometry is coming out mirrored on the machine then this is probably what you need to adjust again you go into the uh, milling job or I'm sorry we go into cam defaults current settings Okay, we're going to go to machine definition. Now, you can see how this says BC two axis lathe. So that's not the machine we're working on. We're working on the BC 3X mill. So we'll choose that from the drop down here. We'll go to our machine definition. Our Y value, we need to invert it. So minus one for Y. The X value, we're going to do, we'll highlight this here, minus one for X. We choose OK. Now we've updated our machine definition. When we post the code out, now you'll see the X value is positive and the Y value is positive. So uh, this comes up from time to time. Uh, there's your fix on it. Uh, if there's any questions or comments, feedback, reply back to the, the thread, the Facebook, the YouTube. Um, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much.